Welcome back to Your Plates of Mine. Elvis, you ready to wrap these up? I'm ready to wrap these up. And now we want to take this and turn the heat way down. All right. For right now, because we don't want it just to burn it up. Right. But I do sort of want to caramelize maybe just a hair in doing this. All right. But then after we get this about to that consistency, uh -huh. we want to take and uh, We're going to take some, some ketchup, mm -hmm. and this is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of about two or two and a half cups. Two to two and a half cups of ketchup. There we go. Okay. And I may want to add some more. We'll just have mm -hmm. to see after we get this to cooking down here. So, so far we have bacon, brown sugar, and ketchup. Bacon, brown sugar, and ketchup. And if you'll reach right over there on right. the end of that little table behind you there, and get me the mustard bottle if you would. Okay. See how that sort of caramelized now and how that, some of that's a little bit darker than oh, the rest of it? Oh, yeah, it gives it a nice yeah. color there. Right. And uh, the bacon that I use is usually a smoke cured bacon. All right. And uh, I like that smokiness to the flavor uh -huh. as well. And then you want to really measure out your mustard. It's really important you go. Okay. One, two. About like that. About, 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 about two seconds squirt? About two seconds squirt. <laughs> there we go. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't know that I've ever yeah. really measured that. You know. is, is that metric? Or, uh, that's yeah, metric, that's yeah, metric, yeah. metric, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but you want to take it and stir this in. Uh -huh. And then if you'll reach over behind you again, there's a bottle of vinegar sitting over there. All right. On, on the table. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, a little white vinegar. It's white vinegar, and I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in a bottle that you go to the grocery store and buy. Mm -hmm. I don't use what you can buy at the grocery store. You don't. What you buy at the grocery store is five percent acidity. Okay. I go to a restaurant supply house mm -hmm. and I buy it by the gallon, but I buy a gallon of four percent acidity. Four percent. All right. It, it gives you the acid, but it doesn't have that. Oh, it Nailed doesn't have taste. that real hard bite. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like that much better. Uh -huh. And we're going to put about, what, two tablespoons? About two tablespoons. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there again, this is something that I do to taste. You right. know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's something that after you get it stirred up and, uh, and get everything going here. Uh, so if it doesn't have enough tang, add just a little bit more. Right. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't do, then you can... Add a little bit of taste to it, and uh, it's almost matter, a barbecue sauce. Almost, mm -hmm. it's almost like a barbecue sauce. But taste it and see if you think that that's going to going to taste all right. Had to get a piece of bacon this. in there. Right, I saw that. Yeah. I'm gonna spill a spoon too while you're tasting that. If you don't mind. Mmm. Yeah, that smoky bacon. Now, to me, I like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nice. It's sweet. And, uh, it's got some, got the tang and the vinegar. Right. That's good. Yeah. Did you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll show you how we put it on here in a little while. Okay. And get this down cooked. All right. The meatloaf is in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. Right. We've got Elvis's special magic sauce that we're going to pour over the top here in just a little bit. So in the meantime, we're going to make some. We're going to make some some blessed, blessed eggs. Blessed eggs. You know, as I said uh -huh. earlier, you know you. You can't devil eggs at church. No. You, so. know, you better bless them. All you know? right. And uh, so. Now, so how do we do that? Well, uh, if you promise you won't cut your hands in two. Okay. I'm going I'm to show you here. I'm going to help a little bit. I'm going to take one. All we right. Just, I boil these eggs, put them on the stove. All right. In water. Mm -hmm. And I boil them for uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And then I take them, took them out mm -hmm. and uh, uh, peeled them. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, they want to tear all the pieces because we're on television. Yeah, because so, you're on TV. So see, I did those two, which uh -huh. is bad. I'm gonna let you be oh, cutting I, I up some of this other is. stuff here. See? All right. Well, he's good at this. <laughs> he's made these things before, hasn't he? I tell you what. How many fingers did you cut off anyway? Uh, so far none. So far none. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mash them up and get them down into a good flavor. Now, something else that I do that a lot of other people don't do <laughs> is I add my. Uh, I add my relish, mm -hmm. the very first thing. Okay. And I'm going to stir it till the relish is stirred all the way through my egg yolks. Right. 
And I always measured this out real good too. Yeah, the same way. Yeah, about like that right there, which uh -huh. is probably a quarter of a cup quarter or so cup. maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, it just depends on having the eggs that, that you're using. Sure. And Get then. Nice uniform nice mix. Nice uniform mix. Mm -hmm. And then I want to take. About. Oh, two and a half. About two and a half, maybe. Good, that that big amount right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're taking, start mixing this all up together good. Mm -hmm. Got to get it to a little bit of a creamy consistency. But remember, we're going to add the vinegar to it. Right. So that's going to thin it up just a little bit more. All so right. you don't want to go and get it too thin. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to take and, and salt these. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's what, maybe mm -hmm. a quarter teaspoon? Yeah, a quarter. Mm -hmm. Somewhere like that. I like the consistency of that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use uh, about a teaspoonful. Just a little of, bit. Of the vinegar. And uh, give it a little zip. Give it a, just a little bit of a zip here. Mm -hmm. yep. Let's put just a little bit of sugar a little over sugar. that. Even though mm -hmm. I use the sweet relish. Uh -huh. And uh, we're talking a teaspoon maybe. All right. Thereabouts. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. The sweetness and the vinegar sort of offset each other mm -hmm. some way or another and uh, make for, for something good. Mm -hmm. You start filling them up mm -hmm. and you know, like I told you earlier when we was talking, you know, mm -hmm. I did 19 dozen of these for a meal here Woo. at church one time. Let's see if I can get this to... Give them a little, uh, a little dusting of the paprika. A little paprika on top mm -hmm. of it. Give some color and a little bit of flavor. Give, add just a little bit of flavor mm -hmm. to it. Looks I good. didn't say I was the prettiest cook in the world. Uh -huh. Well, of course, I do look pretty good, but I mean, that's beside the point. But there's our blessed eggs. There we go. Okay. Now, on this, see how the, all the grease is cooked out of the meat there? Yep. Mm -hmm. And before I put my topping on it, I like to take a baster like this and, and just take most of that grease off of it. Of course, you can't get 100% off of it. Sure. But I want to get most of it. And because when I put my topping on it, I want it to go down around there the meat a little. Like I say, I don't want to use it all, so that's mm -hmm. why I'm not going to just pour it over the top because I want to have just a little bit of it left. And uh, one more spoonful right in there. And I believe that'll be enough. You know, right tell about your little trick about painting over the ends after you snitch well, it. Well, well, snitch yeah, you taste. can do that. <laughs> after you get through with it, you have this, this little of this left. You always taste everything. Uh -huh. Never never serve something that you haven't tasted. So you can take just a little bit off the end of that and then take the sauce and paint it back over the end of it. Nobody knows up. that you've even been in there eating, see. <laughs> and uh, so All we're right. going to take this and slide this back into the oven. Button that back up. For about 15 or 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it'll be ready to it'll go. It'll be ready to eat. Then. All right. All right, now, All right. Elvis, you got a super easy mashed tater recipe for us that you've got your own special twist. Well, it. sort of, I, you know, I, mm -hmm. I, I like butter. So uh -huh. I, I use a little extra butter than what it calls for on the recipe All right. usually. Mm -hmm. Today I'm gonna make about 12 servings. All right. And uh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking at about uh, four cups of water mm -hmm. and I've got a full stick of butter over in that. All right. And uh, I've got a, a cup and a half of milk that mm -hmm. I brought to a boil on the stove. All right. And then we're gonna take and just add uh, the instant potatoes. Now you mm -hmm. can make potatoes and, and, and that's sure. fine to do so. Mm -hmm. hey, well, before I do that, let's do this right here. Mm -hmm. This is white pepper. All right. Now if you don't have white pepper in, 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 in your potatoes, mm -hmm. you know, if you put black pepper in, everybody says, oh, that's got black pepper in uh -huh. you know, that they don't ever see the white pepper. Right. And mm -hmm. it will do really good mm -hmm. on, on the taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that is about a teaspoon, probably. About a teaspoon. Of, of, of and, and white pepper actually has a little bit different flavor than right. black pepper, so it's kind of fun to right. try different stuff. A, a white pepper uh, has a, after I've eaten, mm -hmm. I'm going to bite you, uh -huh. where black pepper, it hits you in the face just as soon as you put right. it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So it has a different. And I'm also, I'd like to use somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, probably uh, two teaspoons mm -hmm. of salt. All right. And I'm gonna go in and put this in the hot water so that it'll dissolve out good before that go. I put the potatoes in it. Mm -hmm. And for salt, you know, you gotta yeah, have you gotta just a little, little bit extra, you know. There. And uh, so I'm gonna take and just sort of stir that up a little mm -hmm. bit, get it stirred around. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add the potato flakes. All right. Now, on this, you wanna get all of it completely wet. Mm -hmm. now, I'm, I'm using four cups of, of potatoes 
four cups of water, mm -hmm. cup and a half of milk, the stick of butter, and of course, salt and the white pepper salt to white taste. Pepper. Mm -hmm. You know, but what you want to do after you get all up, make sure you got it all wet, mm -hmm. is it really needs to just sit for about one minute. But the secret to a good instant potato is two things. It's the mm -hmm. white, pepper, white pepper and it's having enough about you to let that set just for a minute. Just leave it alone. Uh -huh. Just leave it alone and mm -hmm. let it do its thing. All right. Because it's soaking up the moistures and the flavors mm -hmm. and it'll swell up to a certain point and then you can take your, your fork and, and, and fluff it up mm -hmm. and make it do what it needs to do okay. to, to be able to do that. All right, everything smells amazing. I can't wait to have some of this. We've got your fantastic meatloaf. We've got the green beans. We've got mashed potatoes. we got blessed eggs, and I can't wait to have some. I so, all right, why don't you serve us up a little bit? All right, I will do that. Elvis, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for having all me. Your your special secret recipes with us. Glad, glad to do it for yep. you. And a, and a big mm. thanks to the folks at Living to Go Church. Right at livingtogo.org if you'd like to check us out. Okay? Thanks for letting us use your kitchen. And if you've got a great recipe you'd like to share with us, check us out on our website. It's yourplatesermine.net. Who knows? We may come cook with you. Should Thank we you. dig in? Let's dig in Let's and dig eat. In. Thank you. Any relations? Who? Uh, no, I named after my dad. Actually. Okay. Don't go away. We'll be right back with... <laughs> <laughs> With take two. Take two. <laughs> it's plates. Plates? Plates. Plates are mine. Plates. I'm sorry. Did they say plates? plates. Elvis has left the bed. <laughs>